Just doing a quick little update this time as I'm going for the five boss cell specific item and I happen to have a particularly good run. <laughs> Two colorless heavy turrets, giant killer because I don't know, Boyzak is starting to lose a little bit of its luster after the stream that I had where it just did not deliver on the damage like I remember it normally doing so. I'm still not quite sure if enemies have been buffed up a little bit in this latest patch or if I'm just getting worse over time. But I suppose that doesn't really matter now, does it? So that And that won't matter when I have a giant killer that's doing 190,000 damage per hit. Oh yes, I mean the fact that I am currently in the castle with all four of my... Hmm? Nah, I want that 100% on poison because I do have that from one of my heavy turrets right now. But yes, uh, do, I'm, I'm in the castle. I got four potion charges. It's all looking pretty great. I mean, I know I said that one boy's axe run that I had last time. Well, uh, during that one run that I called the overpowered run. Was maybe the most overpowered that I've ever seen. But, oh man, I don't think that has anything on this. That does not mean that I am not going to get hit or anything. That just means that I'm pretty confident in my ability to survive past this point. To the point that, you, you know, with... 35 points of brutality. I don't really think I need to worry too much about getting a non-health stats at this point. And yeah, and one of the things to remember is that the heavy turrets are actually prevented. I would have another three points of brutality if I was using something like infantry grenades. So it's been a very stat-rich run, which I'm not disappointed in at all. If I do need to go grab the... Yeah, if I do need to go grab the... Oh, boy. If I do need to go grab the, um... Tainted Flask when I go into the five-cell area, that'll be fine. I'll be able to accept that. But if I'm lucky, I shouldn't even need to worry too much about that sort of thing happening. Despite the fact that the Giant Killer does not do a ton of damage against non-boss enemies anymore, it's still more than enough when you're working with 35 Brutality. Alright, come on. I'm still pretty excited to see exactly what the uh, five boss cell enemy is going to drop. I'm going to assume that if you're watching this episode, you're probably prepared to know about spoilers. So I'm thinking it's either going to be a... Oh, I know it's going to be a power. So unfortunately, that does mean that it's not going to be a gigantic syringe, which is what I was sort of hoping for. I mean, that is the, the boss's weapon of choice. Or I was thinking that it was going to be a, like a version of the tonic, that it's like the panacea. Which uh, is, you know, gives you health, but also gives you a huge damage boost on top of that, much like the, the actual weapon does in the boss fight. The other thing, and I don't know, I mean, after all, this is, you know, beaten five cell mode. Maybe it is finally going to be the return of, there we go, the return of Temporal Distortion. A quite overpowered power. I mean, not only was it a good way to enable a lot of synergies, because powers commonly have, like, release Toxic Cloud around them, start things on fire, throw down oil and start things on fire. It also is just ridiculously overpowered because it gives you damage reduction on top of a huge slowing AoE, well, AoE, a huge slowing effect for every enemy for a couple seconds, which is, which makes a lot of bosses, even though they do tend to have a little bit of damage reduction when they're in the slow down time, like absolutely trivial. Because let me tell you, when you're working with, well, a run like I'm working with right now, what is going on? Oh, it's the... It was the, the wind, of course. I was kind of confused there for a second because I wasn't grabbing onto the wall like I needed to be. Man, even just slams are doing me quite good. Okay. Oh, almost got me there. But uh, almost got me doesn't count. Yo, demons, are you going to do anything there? Fine. I guess I don't need you to. Ugh. Not that I do... I'm, I'm, currently, I'm working with about almost 60,000 health right now. I should be okay even if I do happen to get hit by a ball and chain. I mean, that doesn't mean that I'm invincible or anything, nor does that mean that I should be 
thinking that in any way. However, it is going pretty good. Okuto's bow on top of all of that also working out pretty well for me. Yeah, worst came to worst, I did have the my classic damage over time type of build going on here as well. So, if I didn't have poison through my turret, I was going to have poison through having an alchemic carbine eventually. But I don't think that's going to be coming up right now. So, well, I can just get all the benefits of the Hokuto's bow, as well as a little bit of damage over time on top of that. While not... Uh, well, not, um, you know, being forced to take something like the Alchemic Carbine, which as good as that is, it's not something super... I mean, it's not like a huge damage dealer if you don't have the the full full Monty as far as damage over time setup goes. So this is the ideal circumstance. Uh, yeah, I can take this. Okay, I just wanted to make sure, because sometimes it's questionable as to if I forgot to take off Alienation or not. Oh, I was getting cursed a lot here. I did take alienation. I mean, really, a lot of the stats came from lucky spawns with cursed chests. I managed to get the the free-floating cursed chest, the non-cell door cursed chest in the ossuary, on top of getting the on top of getting the um, weapons, or on top of getting a couple challenge rings, is what I was thinking of. And obviously opening up all those curse chests get, just gave me so many more opportunities to get these heavy turrets. And the legendary heavy turret was from the concierge fight, I believe. So, I just got to kind of keep that in mind. Yeah, it's a gamble when you're going to be muddying up pools. If, if you're going to be going full on custom mode, you generally don't want to muddy up pools with items that you're probably not going to use, like a heavy turret. But, nah, I should be fine with what I got right now. But if you want to... Whoa, where'd you come from? <laughs> but if you really want to uh, roll the dice, if you really want to give your life the chance, then unlocking an item with the assumption that you're going to find a colorless version of it is a strategy. <laughs> and I mean, it's paying off here, but there are plenty of times where it has not paid off for me. So, hey, 250, eh, a lot of good stuff here, but I don't know if it's anything that I really need 100% on poison but 20% regular the 30% critical damage is really what matters because I'm going to be getting permanent crits on any sort of enemies that I need that on so it's fine with me not too wow you can't even see the area which this goes up to which is completely cut off by the map anywho Let's finish this up. I got all three keys. I would like to go for the 60 kills if possible. Get a particularly powerful weapon, but I don't think that's going to be happening. And frankly, I'm not going to worry too much about it. The items that I'm currently working with are going to be just fine to carry me through the game. Ugh, as always, don't want to be too confident, though. Confidence is only going to breed complacency. It's going to breed death. Uh, what's the easiest way to get over to the the mortuary up there? I don't even know. But yes, it should be should be worth saying that I am also getting what thirty percent extra damage, uh, 40 forty percent extra damage because I also have another affix on the heavy turret as well. So this is not just the the plain power of. Mm, let's wait until I got my turrets back up, just to be. Absolutely sure. Uh, yes, it's not just the plain power of the weapon, or even the weapon buffed up by poison. It's a number of different things that are really contributing to the incredible damage that I have right now. All right, like I said, 35. I really don't need any more. So let's let's just keep going with everything else that I could possibly get. And I will just for the moment go and try to yeah, this is a bad idea don't do this but I'm going to try to get a little bit of healing here and everything like that it should be a fine area to have that happen 
All right. Very nice. Very nice. Should have even a couple more enemies here. Oh, and there's six kills. I saw the little skull down there. Ah! Ah! Stop! Stop hitting me! Oh, right at the last second. Unfortunate. But, hey. I got mostly full health now. Didn't even have to blow potion charge. The malaise is going to be something of an issue. But, hey, that's a... Uh, it's an issue that I can deal with. And then I do think that for the last area, I am going to switch out Vengeance for... For Tainted Flask, because there is a new enemy in the 5-cell area that is going to be... Well, that has been quite the sticky wicket to deal with. So, if I don't have to... I don't want to. What do you got? I mean, it's and, and an extra jump in midair might actually be useful in some way, so I'll take it. Why not? Really going full in on the brutality on the necklace there, but hey, I got I got six and nine off stats here. It's working out just fine. Mostly. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, if I don't spend too much money on re-rolling my mutations, I might actually be able to... I might, I might actually be able to uh, buy a potion charge if a food shop happens to show up. Which, let me tell you, wouldn't be a bad thing. Get rid of a lot of this malaise, have a lot of extra healing here. Just a, Wow, look at that damage. Look at that damage go! <laughs> Okay, this is, uh, shouldn't have to even say it, but this is a good fight. <laughs> Ooh, almost got locked into my animation there. Anyway, that was a perfect Hand of the King fight, cool. <laughs> feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty, pretty good. And since we almost never get to see what's behind this door over here, that also feels... Well, not this door, but the... The, uh, perfect hand of the king fight door. That also feels pretty good to see. What do you got? New necklace? A uh, legend... Hmm? <laughs> well... Um... I... Hmm... <laughs> I do lose out on a big amount of damage reduction. I just do it. Just do it, you huge coward. You know you want to. <laughs> no, you're hesitant, but like just a, a golden gift from the gods here. Especially because, you know, these tend to be gold in one way or another. Sell this. Still gonna take soldier's resistance, tank to the flask, and then one more for that inside. Make sure it's all looking quite nice. Yeah, this is interesting. This is... It's certainly a good fight. <laughs> it's certainly been a good a bunch of fights so far. I mean, I, I, the giant killer is a great weapon, but, you know, of course, it is a slow weapon. It is a... Occasionally a... Oh, there you are! <laughs> that's a new... That's a new dude. Adorable, but deadly. This is where... The only thing that the, could make this run... Like significantly better would be a invisibility necklace of course it's just i mean but of course invisibility invisibility necklace makes anything better that's just a that is just a fact of life it is so absurdly overpowered in every way anything new happening up here it's like just the star charts and the telescope okay yeah i've seen that one before Anything else up on top of here, though? Nope. Also, you know, just as a matter of course, do need to make sure that I don't accidentally fall off of this area as well. For example, trying to escape from uh, tiny book writing people. You! <laughs> oh, no! Okay, three. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, they got that ability. Maybe the one that is the biggest thorn in my side of any move when it comes to... When it comes to the final boss. Oh, well. You just gotta learn to deal with it now, don't you? 
And also the fact that they have the whole, like, track you anywhere type of ability, as some enemies do, is only makes it even more obnoxious to try to deal with them sometimes. There. There he is. You gotta wait until the sparkles show up, and that's when you're gonna you're gonna want to strike. Oh, terrible. Hmm. Okay, I might want to go for a. Might want to go for a potion charge soon enough. I mean, maybe wait until I'm fighting an enemy first, but I don't. I want to play this one safe. I want to play this one real safe, just to be sure. Ah, as I thought. Yeah. Consistently hitting the damage cap. I have been told that apparently the damage cap is not actually a cap, it's just a cap on the numbers. That you do more damage than that, you just uh, don't see it. You don't see it reflected in the HP totals that, you, that are flying off of enemies. Okay. I mean, one of the things I was thinking is maybe I want to replace the legendary heavy turret with the one that I was getting there, but then I'm like, that is my poison synergy, which is an important thing to remember. Do need that delicious poison. It's so much extra damage. Here he is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> good, good, good. I, ah! Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it just because. Just because my confidence is not tremendously high right now. And I know, I know that my little book buddies are not going to be uh, kind to me. <laughs> Librarians, I guess they're called. Oh, crap. This sucks. <laughs> there. <laughs> well, library man. I don't, I don't know, I don't have anything, I, I don't have anything else that I was planning to say there. I guess I'm the man now, dog. I'm gonna keep that necklace there, I might want to take it soon enough. Just because that is, that is, uh, it's extra stats, it's extra stats, and I'm not really worried about projectiles in the upcoming fight, I'm worried about everything else. Ooh, a legendary weapon, you say? Oh, no, it's a stat. Sure. <laughs> that, that's that's fine, too. Ugh, alien key, and let's go. What is that shop there? I'd like to see. Can't quite get far enough over to see what that shop is. And I can do this. Ah, oh, it is a food shop. Very interesting, because I, that's what I wanted to see. Absurdly expensive, as you would expect. However, it's just, that's that's fine. Because having a lot of, having a lot of, man, uh, giant killers unlocked does mean that you are going to be able to sell those things for a lot. They are one of the highest, uh, highest costing weapons in the entire, no, it's a librarian. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Those guys, I mean, I've managed to get a, avoid getting hit by them so far. I don't know if their stuff counts as projectiles. If it does, that's good, but I have my doubts. I mean, it's it's a beam. It's not really, it's not really the sort of thing that you would expect to be a projectile in a lot of ways. Crap, there he is. Oh, good. Managed to get poisoned enough that it doesn't matter. Man, I'm so sad that you can't do this anymore. That was such a good move. But hey, I can kind of understand. It is real powerful. Get down here, you. They've apparently fixed it so that enemies can no longer get stuck flying up in the air constantly, which is too bad, but... Oh, and he got me anyway. All right, well, I, I like this one a lot more. <laughs> That's a lot of extra health. Very close to getting the uh, magic 100k. Ah, just grab the thing. <laughs> Okay, I think that was a librarian um, flying into the electricity, which I am not opposed to, anyway. It's 
does seem like that's probably going to be an easy way to take those guys out if they happen to be appearing on the side of the wizard tower. Speaking of which, good. Good, good, good. Good and great. Brood. That's what I want to see. Yeah, I think that I should be able to get whatever this is. And also probably my best chance of, like, perfecting this fight that I've had for quite some time. The final boss is not a tremendously difficult boss, but it is tough enough. It's something that wears you down over time. It's not... Ah, oh, craps. Okay. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, I hate those guys. They are adorable, though. I will give you that. Those things are absolutely precious. However, that does not mean that I like them. Okay. <sighs> like I said, they have just uh, on their own merits nearly ended run, so only the more reason to respect them despite their adorable uh, looks. Okay, let's just do this and... Oh, still got me anyway. Fine, fine. Okay, and there. Now, you do have to remember that a Tainted Flask only works if your flask is completely empty. So unless I was going to drain four potion charges for no reason right now, there's uh, no reason that I should use that to try to prevent me from taking too much uh, malaise damage. I had a <laughs> good stuff. This is annoying. <laughs> well, now's a good time to use this. Get wrecked. I'm not even going to worry about, like, hey, if I take an extra point of malaise or something like that. Shouldn't be a big deal. Really, I could just go buy, go over to the shop again and buy that, uh... No, here we go. Good. Go over to the shop again and buy that, uh... Coal cough syrup, if I really needed to. And I'll just... I don't even care about that other necklace. It's not like... I don't need money where I'm going. Which is the ending. <laughs> Hopefully. God, I can only hope. Oh, and I didn't get the 100k. Oh, well. All right, switch this back out again for... Uh, just curious. Do I have 60% uh, on bleeding for anything? For one of my heavy turrets, I guess? I don't know. I don't really think that's uh, worth it. I think probably just going to go with the classic. Vengeance, you, and... Um, vengeance, health, and health. <laughs> Never go wrong with tons of health. Besides, I don't think damage is going to be too big of a deal. It's really that damage reduction that I need more than anything else, which is why Vengeance is so... such a tempting get. Alright. What is your weapon that you owe me? By the way, I'm wearing your outfit. It's sort of an aspirational thing. Because I'm going to kill you. Yeah, enjoy your thousand plus cells. Pretty nice, isn't it? Okay, come on. Don't screw this up. Oh, he's getting um, stunned with the turrets. Which is a thing. Come on. Oh, I was kind of hoping that I could still blitz him down a little bit here. <laughs> oh, really? That's how I'm taking some damage? Mm, ta -ta -ta -ta. Man, I might just like get right to the ending right now at this rate. I've been screwing up against this attack a lot because I've been too aggressive. I'm not going to make that mistake again. Or at least I'm going to try not to make that mistake again. Oh! Ending right now! Well, your little librarian buddies have been giving me a lot of practice on this particular move, so...
Yeah? Well, I mean, I already screwed up the perfect fight, but still. Oh, ah, I was doing that thing where I was walking forward for no real reason for a little bit there. Anyway, let's finish this up. Ugh, you are really being a pain. Just because I can. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty good. <laughs> good stuff. What's the item? Oh, every time. Not gonna get to see what the item is? Oh, it is the collector syringe. Wow, I thought it, I really thought that it might have been the uh, the other thing. Cool. Okay, so yeah, I probably exactly what you think it is, but at least let's at least go check that out real quick. Just make one very fast uh, jaunt into the actual collector's room and see what I'm going to get from that. All right, and you don't get to keep your cells. Something I couldn't quite remember, but not like I need to anyway. Let's go. So yeah, uh, definitely that sort of run is good. I think I'm going to have to start thinking of Boy's Axe as being um, maybe a little bit secondary to the Giant Killer. That is, That was some pretty good damage. I skipped a lot of phases there, let's just say that. Just that alone is going to tell you the sort of quality weapon that I was working with. Anyway, collector's syringe. Not an I uh, a power, not an actual weapon. What does this thing do? No. And I might as well grab the 20 cells that I just got right here. Get at least a little bit of a head start on whatever this weapon is going to be. And it is, oh, it's only one. Spin the syringe to inflict damage. Activate again. From hmm, you can actually use cells on something. Yeah. Oh, four, five, twenty. Neat! <laughs> this is definitely an interesting item. Still double jumping everything like that? Alright, cool! Well... <laughs> and finally I got something to use cells on for once. 